Good morning. That's better. All right. My name is George Abernathy. I am uh, the CRO at Freight Waves, and I am uh, genuinely pleased to have the opportunity to uh, provide what we're going to do for you over the next 10 minutes or so. Um, Craig has laid the groundwork uh, for what we're doing, but today you're going to have the opportunity to see Freight Waves market experts live. Many of you may already be Sonar subscribers, and if you are, you know that our Freight Waves Daily Watch is a daily briefing email that is distributed exclusively to licensed Sonar users. It's delivered into your inbox promptly at 10 a.m. Eastern time every day, including on the weekends. If you're like me, right around 9.59, you start to salivate a little bit because you know this is coming, and that 10 o'clock email is delivered to you. Today, you're going to have the opportunity to see the Daily Watch live and in living color. So you need to think about the Daily Watch as your sonar playbook of the day. It's designed to provide for you quick read insights from our market experts, or MEs as we're going to be calling them, into what happened in the global economy overnight, what's happening in the freight market today, and what you need to watch over the next 24 hours. In addition to highlighting what's happening in the freight markets that day, our market experts will share recommended strategies, no matter what your business type is, on how this information can be used to your advantage. And to spice up today's uh, daily watch and our market experts providing that to you, we're going to give you a sneak peek of Demo Day. You'll hear about Demo Day a little bit more later on. Craig's provided great insight to you on that. But each of our market experts will have one minute to provide their, their insights. We've got our shot clock right here. And if they go over the 60 seconds in the shot clock, they're going to be treated exactly the same way as if one of the demo companies goes over the seven minutes. So let's see if they have the opportunity to do that. So let's now meet our experts. And I'll bring out first Zach Strickland, who's our senior marketing analyst. Zach's market expertise is in pricing, financial anal analysis, both less than truckload and truckload freight, data organization and analytics. What makes Zach a market expert? Prior to starting at Freight Waves, Zach received his bachelor's degree in finance from the University of Tennessee at Knoxville, which, yes, they did actually win a football game this weekend. There you go, go Vols. You don't say that very much or hear that very often, do you? Um, I didn't hear one roll tied. That's remarkable, isn't it, Glenn? Um, uh, anyway, uh, his first experience, Zach's first experience in transportation was 13 years ago in expedited truckload. He then moved on to engineering pricing and finally financial analysis at a nationwide LTL carrier. Zach has spent the majority of his career dealing with data and translating it into something both manageable and actionable, whether it's for his own use or for others, making him perfect for the market expert role. He has developed dashboards for executive management as well as daily operational management. What Zach most likes about Sonar, he loves Sonar's wide open view of the general market, having worked in positions that require him to have knowledge of the general market in a severely fragmented industry where the level of information is scarce. He knows how valuable the data in Sonar is to anyone involved in transportation. Market expert Zach Strickland. Value things they ship are pistachios. And the pistachios on a per. OK. Well done, Zach. Yeah, uh, Zach's mic needs to go up, and we need to reset his shot clock, please. Is that, is that my fault? There you go. Is that my fault? Whoever's saying, is that my fault, the answer is yes. <laughs> nice. And I'm pretty sure I recognize the voice, so I'll be paging you later on. <laughs> go ahead, Zach. All right. We've been watching the West Coast for the last few weeks as tender rejection rates have increased significantly in Los Angeles. Uh, but today, the market of the day is Las Vegas. Las Vegas tender rejection rates have spiked significantly. You can see on the chart a huge jump over the last two days of tender rejection rates, almost a thousand basis point jump, the largest level that it's seen in the past several months. Uh, what this means is you need to go out there if you're a carrier and cover Las Vegas. If you're a shipper, 
You go out there and you increase your lead times so that you're guaranteed capacity and you're not paying a premium for this, uh, for this lane. And as a broker, you're doing both. You're going to your shippers and saying, I'm, I need to secure capacity. If you're, and you're going to your carriers and securing capacity, but you're also increasing your rates in this area to make sure that your margins are covered. Uh, the biggest aspect of this increase has been the tweener tender rejection rate. This is gonna be cities like Denver, Albuquerque, and Portland uh, to watch. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. Well done. Next, next up for us, uh, market expert Michael Crosby. Uh, Michael's uh, market expertise is in technical analysis, futures trading, LTL pricing, data management, and analytics. Having worked in the transportation industry for 15 years and having a passion for charts, data, and trading, working at Freightways is combining something that he knows with something that he loves. What does Michael like most about Sonar? Since day one, our goal has been transparency. In the past, other than being well connected by data, the only way to predict trends and create a budget was to look at your own internal data and forecast the future. Market expert, Michael Crosby. Start the clock. Good morning. Good morning. Today, there's a huge nutcracker in the middle of the building and Christmas music playing in the bathroom. Some of you love it and some of you hate it, but the fact is Christmas season is upon us. So today for Outbound Volumes, we're looking at the Pacific Northwest. Did you know over 60,000 acres are dedicated to growing Christmas trees in Washington and Oregon alone? So normally that area is typically a black hole if you're a carrier, but right now you can get a nice load coming out of there. I don't know where my chart is, but volumes are up in Seattle. Uh, volumes in Portland are actually up 14%. So if you're a shipper, secure your freight going farther out. If you're a broker, adjust your rates accordingly. And if you're a carrier and you're not already slammed in the West, then head to the Northwest. Christmas trees don't care if they're on a flatbed, dry van, reefer, or if you're Clark Griswold on the top of your station wagon. Thank you. <laughs> well done, Michael. Thank you. Our next market expert is Ibrahim Bayan, who is FreightWave's uh, chief economist. His market expertise is mac macroeconomic analysis, transportation economics, and parcel markets. What makes Ibrahim a market expert? Prior to FreightWave's, Ibrahim spent nearly a decade producing macroeconomic analysis and constructing forecasting models as a senior economist for UPS. While working at UPS, Ibrahim helped to build many of the forecasting models that are still in use today including the first models that incorporated e-commerce trends into residential package delivery forecasts. What does Ibrahim like most about Sonar? Within economics, it is rare to be able to see and use real-time information at such a high frequency and geographic detail. The Sonar platform allows for timely insight into one of the key trackers of economic activity. Market expert, Ibrahim Bayan, start the clock. So today is actually a pretty slow day for economic releases because most government agencies are closed because of Veterans Day. Uh, but oil has kind of taken center stage over the past 24 hours as Saudi Arabia decided that they were going to begin restricting the amount of output they put into uh, global crude oil markets by 500,000 barrels per day starting next month. Now this move is designed to prop up oil prices which have been battered over the past month as you can see in the chart. Um, but it really kind of depends on whether or not they can get other OPEC nations to follow suit and restrict production as well. Now for freight industry, um, most people think about low oil prices as a good thing because low, low crude oil prices means low fuel prices. But keep in mind that along with all of this rise in oil prices that we saw earlier in the year came a rise in production in the industrial sector. And if oil prices fall too far, it means that there could be some weakness in industrial production going forward. So something to keep an eye on as we look into 2019. Thank you. Thank you, Ibrahim. Well done. As I stand next to these guys, I think just how short I came on the IQ point test. Um, now next up, uh, Nick Austin, uh, whose area of market expertise, he's our director of weather analytics and senior meteorologist. His uh, market expertise is obviously in weather analysis and weather forecasting. His noteworthy accomplishments include being a member of the weather team in Jackson, Tennessee, where he was nominated for an Emmy for live coverage of a major tornado outbreak in 2008. Nick earned his National Weather Association Broadcasting Seal in 2005. What does Nick like most about FreightWave Sonar? 
Nick is amazed by the sheer amount of near-time pertinent data connecting everyone with interest in freight and trucking. Market expert, Nick Austin. Start the clock. Good morning, everybody. We have three really major uh, weather events that are going to cause problems as far as freight movement today and tonight, and really over the next few days. One is a lot of snow that's moving right along the I-40 corridor. That's to Oklahoma, also along a lot of routes up into Missouri. And it's not just the snow. There'll be areas of patchy ice that'll slow people down, as well as blowing snow, low visibilities, a lot of really, really blinding rain with some gusty winds along the Gulf Coast. But the biggest problem you can't even see on this map, and that's going to be from the wildfires in uh, California, especially uh, freight trying to come in and out of the Los Angeles market is going to be difficult for three reasons. Road closures, smoke, even where roads are navigable, this is going to be smoke limiting visibility, and also very, very strong Santa Ana winds. That's going to cause a problem and be very difficult, especially for anyone having to deadhead or uh, haul any light loads. It's going to be very, very difficult and even risky to do that. Thanks, Nick. Well done. I don't know about you, but what this is training me, and maybe this just demonstrates how organized I like to be, we should live in a world where shot clocks are out there and meetings have to have shot clocks. This is fantastic. Our last market expert and not least market expert is Dean Croak. He's FreightWave's Chief Insights and Analytics Officer. His market expertise includes telematics, ELD and hours of service, trucking equipment, drivers, driving, sleep and sleep disorders, 24-7 workplace schedule design, and human performance. What makes Dean a market expert? Prior to FreightWaves, Dean led the data science teams at Omnitrax Analytics, Fleet Risk Advisors, and Spirion, in addition to heading up Lancer's long-haul truck insurance business. He has had a strong trucking background in trucking operations, vehicle telematics, data science, business intelligence, data analytics, and 24-7 workplace scheduling. Dean's trucking experience also extends to his days as an over-the-road driver in his native country of Australia, where in the process of covering over two million miles, he owned and operated some of the largest road trains in the world. What does Dean like most about FreightWave Sonar? Dean truly believes that Sonar is one of the most innovative technologies to ever hit the freight market and for the first time gives fleets and owner operators a near-term view of the freight market around them. Sonar puts cutting-edge technology normally reserved for the large and well-resourced fleet in the hands of fleets of all sizes. Market expert Dean Crow, start the clock. Good morning, everybody. Uh, about three weeks ago, JP Hempstead from our editorial team wrote about uh, the tidal wave of shipping containers that are coming from the uh, China market to the American West Coast. Uh, and what we've seen over the last few weeks is the price of shipping containers has almost doubled. And a lot of uh, shippers were caught short. They thought they could find capacity. And in fact, they're paying double to move freight to this part of the world. What we're seeing is that this is not so much driven by consumer demand, but more by people's need to beat the January 1 tariff. So that it's not necessarily uh, normal seasonal activity. There's some geopolitical activity that's causing this to happen. But what's, what's happening is interesting is that some of that freight you would normally think is going to hit the west coast in Los Angeles and Long Beach. We're finding it's actually trickling down to the southern ports of Mexico to Lazaro Carreños. And that freight is finding its way up through the intermodal network into Crikey, I thought I had more time than this. <laughs> Thank you, Dean. Appreciate it. <laughs> I told that bloke I needed more time. All right. Time. See? We, even to ourselves. Thank you, guys. <laughs> uh, please say thank you to our market expert team. And uh, for those of you who are Sonar uh, subscribers, you will uh, be able to see what we're doing today. We're going to provide that to you in video. And for those of you who are not Sonar subscribers, today and tomorrow, the live version will be, will be promoted out. So you'll be able to see the Daily Watch uh, from uh, Monday and Tuesday. So thank you guys, appreciate it.